In order to make sure that everyone is on the same page, many actors have clauses in their contracts that dictate how much of their bodies they're willing to reveal on screen. For the actors that follow, choosing not to show off their full bodies is the right choice. One of Julia Roberts' most iconic roles was a sex worker, but don't expect Pretty Woman star Julia Roberts to take off her clothes on the big screen, especially now that she's a mother to a daughter and two sons. When she was asked about filming nude scenes while promoting her 2009 movie Duplicity, she said, "'You know, it's not really what I do, so if you are going to ask me to do it, you have to expect it to be toned down. You know, as a mom of three, I feel like that.'" But this appears to be a long-standing policy that predates her motherhood. In a 1999 profile, Vanity Fair reported that Roberts covered up her chest while filming, and also that she'd never posed nude for any reason at all. And she wasn't exactly comfortable with some of the more explicit elements required for her star-making turn. When it came time to film love scenes for Pretty Woman, she was so nervous that she would break out in hives beforehand. And ultimately, a body double had to stand in for some of the close-ups. Kira Knightley knows how to film a good love scene. Case in point, the racy bookshelf rendezvous in 2007's Atonement, which she told Vulture was her best sex scene ever. And she has posed topless on the condition that she wouldn't be airbrushed. But her days of getting naked in front of a camera are likely behind her. As she revealed on an episode of the Chanel Connects podcast, she would only strip down for a very specific reason these days. She explained, "...if it was about motherhood, about how extraordinary that body is, about how suddenly you're looking at this body that you've got to know and is your own, and it's seen in a completely different way, and it's changed in ways which are unfathomable to you before you become a mother, then yeah, I would totally be up for exploring that with a woman who would understand that." She also included the requirement that it would have to be a female director behind the camera. So yes, there's a slim chance that Knightley could bear her flesh on screen. And we do mean slim, as she's also perfectly happy to use a body double, and she even enjoys choosing who gets to be the double. As she told the Financial Times in 2020, "...it is an interesting selection process. It kind of goes like, that's a little bit like you, but better." Kira Knightley, what will be worse for you, having to sing in front of a large audience or do your sex faces? <laughs> Rebel Wilson hasn't been shy about showing off her body since she started a wellness journey in 2020, which she dubbed her Year of Health on Instagram. She's even posted a video of herself tanning nude on a London balcony, though she kept it PG with a strategic camera angle. And well before her dramatic weight loss, she embraced her shape and was happy to be a body image role model. But a person can be proud of their figure without needing to flaunt it on the big screen. And that's where Wilson has consistently drawn the line. When it came to shooting the 2016 comedy The Brothers Grimsby, she told Marie Claire, "...they wanted full frontal nudity. We write in the contract specifically no nudity. They got in another girl, this larger burlesque dancer from South Africa, to be a nude double." But Wilson did concede that she might reconsider her stance for a dramatic role, so who knows? Clearly, she's someone who's not afraid of big changes. If a movie was maybe Oscar-worthy, yeah. yeah, would I do it? Yeah. The reason that Jessica Alba won't act in her birthday suit is simple — family values. Raised Catholic, she was taught that showing off her body in such a way isn't appropriate. Yes, indeed, she's never bared all on screen, although one of her movies did create the illusion of her doing so. In 2010's Machete, she appears nude and dripping wet in a shower, but it's all CGI. She filmed the scene while wearing a bra and boy shorts, and the undergarments were later digitally removed, as reported by Entertainment Weekly. Some industry types found that move questionable, but it's safe to say Jessica Alba doesn't care what anyone thinks. As she told Glamour in 2014, "...I don't want my grandparents to see my boobs. That's it. It would be weird at Christmas. And if you look at the movies I have done, getting naked would never elevate the picture." Ever since her big break in the first Transformers movie, Megan Fox has had a reputation as a sex symbol. But the pressure to live up to other people's expectations led her to retreat from Hollywood. As she admitted to InStyle in 2021, "...I hid because I was hurt." 
Perhaps it's not surprising then that Fox is extremely protective of how her body is presented and that getting naked for a movie is completely off the table for her. As she told MTV News in 2009, "...literally all I have left are my private parts, and I don't want to also share them with the world. I'd like to keep them private. That's why they're called that." That's not to say that she isn't willing to show off her body at least somewhat for her work. She appeared topless in the 2011 film Passion Play, though she kept her breasts covered with her arms throughout. She's also donned risque outfits for magazines and modeled for a lingerie line. It's simply a matter of her body, her rules. You might not expect the star of Sex and the City to have a strict no-nudity clause on her contract. But by the time Sarah Jessica Parker landed the role of Carrie Bradshaw, she knew what her limits were after battling years of pressure to take her clothes off for her career. But it's not like that limit prevented Carrie from having plenty of fun. After all, the character dated 28 men over the course of the series and kissed even more. Still, Parker's Sex and the City rules covered more than nudity, as she told The Sun that she was also not comfortable with sex toys or vulgar language. But the actress has also made it clear that she doesn't think any less of women who do take off their clothes. As she told The Hollywood Reporter in 2016, "...I think it's fantastic that people feel comfortable doing it. It's not some kind of principled position or religious or ideological on my part." Kristen Bell is an open book when it comes to her life, including her marriage and her parenting. But she keeps things under wraps when it comes to her own body. When the issue comes up while she's working, she depends on body doubles if showing skin is called for. While discussing the subject with Women's Health in 2012, she got a little cheeky. Referencing websites that catalog actors' various nude scenes, she said, I don't show my crack. All the Mr. Skins of the world are like, ooh, Kristen gets naked. I'm like, dream on. There's also a darker side to the issue of celebrity nudity on the internet. Belle is deeply upset by deep fake videos that use her image by digitally grafting her face onto another performer's naked body. Upon hearing the news that such images existed, she told Vox that she was shocked and felt exploited. And honestly, who can blame her? While Isla Fisher's husband, Sasha Baron Cohen, is known for outrageous stunts, she isn't up for such extremes, especially when it comes to nudity. As she once said, "...we're all born naked, and I totally kind of hate the puritanical approach to the whole nudity thing, but then when it comes to me, no way am I doing anything like that." Because of that stance, Fisher has used a body double in the past, including for the 2005 comedy Wedding Crashers, which features her attempting to seduce Vince Vaughn in a bathroom. Having a stand-in was a compromise, since Fisher didn't want her character to appear naked at all, despite the many racy scenes. Her argument, as she explained to Entertainment Weekly, was that once her character bared her breasts, the audience would see her as sexual as opposed to funny. She was unsuccessful at making that case, but it wasn't a total loss. The role earned her an MTV Movie Award for Best Breakthrough Performance and launched her Hollywood career, no actual nudity on her part required. Carrie Ann Moss is a household name thanks to the Matrix movies, but she paid her dues to get to that point. At the start of her career, she appeared in forgettable movies, like the 1994 erotic thriller The Soft Kill, which required her to bare her breasts. So it's no wonder that she's reluctant to go down that path again now that she's made it. When faced with a potential nude scene, Moss always wonders whether her mother would approve. The same holds true even for photographs, and that's partly due to her committed relationship status. As she once revealed, "...I've been offered Playboy, and when my agent tells me, I laugh hysterically. For me, there's also the feeling that since I'm married, there's a kind of sacredness to the body." Perhaps she's also a little shy after a steamy moment in The Matrix Reloaded was widely panned and even proclaimed the worst sex scene of all time in a poll run by The Guardian. The sequence reportedly wasn't even enjoyable to shoot. Fight scenes are more Moss's thing anyway. As she told Esquire in 2007, "...I'm such a private person, and sexuality is such a private thing. A sex scene is much harder than a fight scene. It's one thing to say, kick higher, but kiss harder? That's just crazy." I love you.
Jennifer Garner projects a wholesome image on Instagram with her cooking videos and kid-friendly content. And fittingly, she's not looking to change that anytime soon by getting naked on camera. As she assured us in a 2009 interview with MTV News, it's never going to happen. Even though she used to wow in skin-tight outfits while starring on the spy series Alias, she's now modest about her physique. As she put it, the world deserves better, not interested. As she's demonstrated on Instagram, Garner has traded in skimpy bikinis for full-coverage wetsuits these days. That's a long way from the carefree attitude she had in her younger days. As she once revealed on an episode of Conan, while she was never really into partying, she did enjoy streaking. No, I just was in a naked frame of mind. Okay. Yeah, we, I just, I don't think I was the only streaker, but I might have been the leader of the streakers. Luckily for her, Instagram didn't exist back then. Blake Lively used to have a pretty clear stance on acting au naturel, and it stemmed from her own viewing habits. As she once told Style Magazine, I know that if I am watching a scene and someone has their boobs out, then that's all I'm looking at. I can't help it. I just don't think that will ever be right for me. People are allowed to change their minds, though, which is what Lively did after she was approached to star in the 2016 film All I See Is You, directed by Mark Forster. The storyline sounded promising, but there was a catch, as the script required her to reveal her bare chest. But Lively was confident that she could persuade Forster that doing so wouldn't be necessary. He remained unconvinced, though, and she wanted the part so badly that she eventually agreed. In the end, she was happy she did, as she admitted to Vanity Fair that she's extremely proud of the performance. But don't expect her to be showing anything further in the future. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.